Ah, oh, wouldn't it be lovely if we had tides in city skylines? What, you mean we do? Courtesy of TPB? Well then, welcome to City Skylines. Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome, I'm Bomb Bomb B, and this isn't strictly a tutorial on how to use the new Tides mod from TPB, because it's very self-explanatory. We will cover that anyway, but there's a lot more information contained within this that you won't find anywhere else just yet on the internet. But first of all, let's have a look at the high and low tide marks for six of the ten available ranges on the settings first of all at the bottom we've got the lowest setting which is setting one where the difference isn't too much setting six is quite large and if you imagine setting 10 would be almost double that amount again which may indeed flood your towns if you're fairly low lying so that dark line running down the middle of the screen that is your sea level marker that is where you normally expect to find the sea before you switch the tides on or off Everything to the left of this, these are your high tide marks. Areas below that point will invariably flood when your tide comes in. And then obviously the areas to the right of that sea level line will become visible when the tide goes out. Now let's have a quick look at the mod itself. First of all, you need to sub to it and obviously enable it in the content manager. Then choosing the uh, tides mod within the settings, enable it or disable it on the right hand side. We obviously want it enabled. Then we've got the ranges which we've already looked at from 1 to 10. We're showing only 6 of them on the screen now. We'll set to level 4 just for the sake of it. Then the speed. Now the speed will go into a lot more detail in a second. Speed runs from 0.1 all the way up to 5. And this is a kind of a bell curve setting. It isn't a strict progression. Now we're going to be using Ultimate Eye Candy to control the speed of the day and we're going up to normal speed for daylight cycle. And now, how long will each tide setting last? Well, speed 5, if you have that set, you'll get one full tide cycle, high tide to high tide, every 57 in-game minutes. At speed 4, that'll give you one full cycle for every 1 hour and 9 minutes approximately. For speed 3, you're looking at every 1 hour and 36 in-game minutes. And once again, these higher settings are useful for watching the tides come in and out at your leisure. If you go down to speed 2, you're now talking every 2 hours and 20 minutes. And then speed 1 is every 4 hours and 30 in-game minutes. You can see the tide creeping in now. Now if you want to go super slow now, uh, these are the slower settings, at 0.5 you get one full cycle every 9 hours, and 0.1 you'll get one cycle every 22 hours and 20 minutes, which is probably something like you would have on Jupiter. I don't know, I've not checked. Please, please, please don't wiki me on this. And so we'll go back into the options for one last look at the settings. So speed 5, that was just under an hour for a full tidal rotation. Speed 4 was an hour and 9 minutes, so just over the hour. Speed 3 there was an hour and a half. Then you drop down to speed 2 was 2 hours and 20. All of those are really fast tidal turnarounds. Pretty good for watching, but probably not at all realistic. Speed 1 is probably where you'd start, and that's the base setting, which is about a 4.5 hour turnaround. 0.5 is every 9 hours, which is close to realistic, and 0.1 is 22 hours and 20 minutes, which is way too slow. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to set the speed to 0.7. I think that's a fairly, for the game itself, I think that's a fairly realistic level to set. And then with the range, the lower settings are particularly good for somewhere like a Mediterranean build, whereas the higher settings for somewhere with a high tide variance, like maybe the Seven Estuary in the United Kingdom, or just uh, some of the bays off of Canada, which are quite variant as well. Ah, but Bonbon, bon, the one thing you've not told us, you ask me, is what is the most realistic setting? Well, the range is completely dependent on where you're building for, the frequency, the speed, you're looking for 0.4, which will give you a full tide cycle every 11 hours and 16 in-game minutes. Not entirely accurate, 
but it's the closest we've got. If you go down to a 0.3, then you're well over 14 hours, which is too slow. So anyway, I hope this has helped you, and it certainly helped me. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Stick something down in the comments below. It'll make my day. And don't forget to share me on every bit of social media you've got, because it really does help me to grow and provide more content for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon.